manager, Dick Sadler. Also came into the ring with him and is in the corner just above me wearing a blue sweater with green pants. But this will be Joe Frazier's corner, the one just above me. George Foreman, who's 24 years old, who was an Olympic heavyweight champion, who fought 37 fights, won them all, 34 by knockout. And very quickly, let's set the scoring rules as we are, for tonight as we await the arrival in the ring of Joe Frazier, the defending champion. We're using a 10-point must scoring system, a mandatory eight count, three knockdowns in the rounds will not end the fight. That normal rule has been waived for this heavyweight championship fight. No saving by the bell. If a fighter is down, when the bell sounds, counting will continue. It's a 21-plus ring with a canvas like a mattress. Very soft. The Joe Frazier kind of canvas. canvas. He doesn't bounce. He's a slugger. He's coming at you like a tank. Foreman bounces some, and when he does, he'll sink. It won't be too good for him. Joe Frazier, the heavyweight champion of the world, age 29, at that 29 bounce. Unbeaten 25 knockouts in his career. Only four men have gone the distance with Joe. Muhammad Ali, of course, in the never-to-be-forgotten bout of March 8, 1971. Oscar Bonavina twice there. Joe Frazier coming down the aisle, hanging on to his manager, Yancey Durham, as he always does. That's the Joe Frazier habit. Joe hasn't been very happy with George Foreman's behavior. Joe says he's a guy who likes to be let alone. He respects all the fighters. But Foreman has been expressing his with and Frazier has seemed openly edgy. Not an act, not the usual promotion. He wants to do away with Foreman quickly, if he can. Bonavina twice, I would say. Ali once, and Scrap Iron Johnson. They're the only ones who've gone the distance. As Joe gets into the ring. Well, they're trying to psych each other out as Arthur McCanny makes his announcement. This contest for the heavyweight there's no fear in either man. There is no fear in George Foreman. He's grown enormously in his confidence of speech and presence, as well as in boxing. We're close to the start of round one. Any second now, and we may have an interesting evening. Frazier, quite understandably, the favorite. Foreman comes out, punching with the right. Frazier in his usual style. Smoking is the way he puts it. His job to get inside. His best weapon, the left hook. Foreman is vulnerable to the hook. Oh, the crowd was misled when Joe fell back a little. There was a slip off balance. Historically, Frazier has not been a good first-round fighter, but historically, he has been a tremendous, tremendous fighter. A great champion. You saw the left hook. Foreman would like to keep punching and keep Frazier away from him with his punches. Joe's job to get inside. Steadily use that left hook. Oh, Foreman connected, as you saw. He's a big, strong boy. He likens this fight to the same kind of problem he faced. There's another left by George. He's getting into Frazier's head. We'll find out tonight how much the Ali fight took out of Frazier, if anything. And we'll find out tonight just how good George Foreman is in punching and in taking a punch. I think he hurt Joe Frazier. I think Joe is hurt. Angie Dundee, Ali's trainer, right next to me is saying it. You may hear him. Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! He is as poised as can be. We have a minute left in this first round, and already this fight is proving out what some have expected. Underneath, Archie Moore is yelling the foreman. We've got the excitement here that we look for. Frazier is dazed. He is getting hit again and again and again. The same head that was hit so often by Muhammad Ali. Frazier is dazed. You see the countdown for the first round. Foreman has not panicked. Foreman is going about his job. Foreman is all over Joe Frazier. Frazier is down again, and he may be. No, he is rising. He is game. He doesn't know where he is. Now the round is about to end. Two knockdowns in the first round of Joe Frazier. Down again. No saving by the bell. He's up 
and so the fight continues. Three knockdowns in the first round by George Foreman. Now you're looking in slow motion. The right for the first knockdown. Clean as a whistle. Oh, what a first round. A slow-mo for the second knockdown. The right again. Clean as a whistle again. We're waiting for the start now of round two. There was no question about the first round. Three knockdowns. Now Joe is coming out at him, wants to come back in a hurry. You'll not find a game of man than Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier went down three times in the first round. A caution from Arthur Mercani. Oh, he is all over Frazier again. He has Frazier in the corner. Frazier's knees buckled. He is about, he is down. He is down for the fourth time in the fight. George Foreman is doing to Joe Frazier what he did as a 19-year-old to a veteran Russian, a fellow named Iona Shapula, in October of 1968 in the Mexico City Arena. A quick left from George. Another! Frazier is down for the fifth time in this fight. Three times in the first round, twice in the second. But Danny checked his, checked his senses, checked Frazier's senses. It's target practice for George Brom. It is target practice. Frazier is ready to go again. Joe is standing. In. There he goes. Three times. Three times. The fight is stopped. No, it is not. It is not stopped. Angie Dundee is screaming, stop it. Bertie Pacheco, all these docs are next to It is over. It is over. It is over in the second round. George Foreman is the heavyweight champion of the world. We're in the ring corner, as you can see, Joe Frazier's corner. George Foreman, the new heavyweight champion of the world, has just spoken to Joe. Yancey Durham, a very great manager in boxing, and an overhead fighter. And Joe Frazier has been, as I said, a great fighter. I'm certain the camera is having trouble spotting me. The knockout of the fight was stopped at 135 of the second round. Joe, I'm so terribly, terribly sorry. 